okay so amar welcome on your pedia thank you sir okay and amar you are presently working in iocl you are a civil engineer yes, and i want to interact with you and i will divide my entire interaction in a uh, uh, couple of parts one is like your brief background yeah, we will start with that yes, and sir. then we'll be talking about uh, your journey till iocl and then you know how the interview of iocl you cracked because your pd is the largest online mentoring platform so student come to our platform yes, to sir. know interview ka taiyari kaise karna hai so your experience will be very very helpful and third will be abhi aap iocl yes, mein hain to kaisa chal raha hai uske bare mein hum janenge so amar start karta hu okay, aapki background se jisme aap please hame ye bataye ki aap kahan se hain aur aapne graduation kab kiya kaun se college se kiya aur uske baad ki aapki gate ki journey kaisi rahi because iocl is through gate yeah Yes, sir. So basically, uh, I am from Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh, and I mm -hmm. did my bachelor's in civil engineering from Indus Engineering College, Gadi mm -hmm. Abad, in 2017, and then uh, I give uh, gate in 2018 and uh, okay. got selected for M Tech uh, in IIT Bombay in transportation specialization. Okay. So mm -hmm. after passing from uh, IIT Bombay in 2020, I'll start preparing for the gate, and in 2021, I secured All India Rank 591. and uh, with the help of your pd education they gave me proper guidance regarding the interview i got selected in npcc that is a navratna public sector unit mm -hmm. so national building construction corporation as a management trainee through gate 2021 then uh, i joined uh, the uh, npcc at delhi and i work here for uh, there for 8 months mm -hmm. so in uh, uh, i also gave uh, gate 2022 in that i secured all india rank 149 and again i joined your pedia and again i got a proper guidance from your pedia regarding uh, the interview so using that uh, means knowledge which i got from the your pedia and the, the practice which i done uh, on the mock interviews uh, through conducted by the your pedia my my interviews uh, were got very well uh, in iocl and uh, in 2020 through gate 2022 i got selected in iocl as a grade a officer okay hmm ओके सो नाउ अमर आपके पास एक्सपीरियंस है एनबीसीसी का भी एंड आईयूसीएल का भी और आप आईआईटी बॉम्बे भी गए हैं आईआईटी बॉम्बे से आपने कंप्लीट कर लिया राइट यस सर ओके यस सर कंप्लीट कर लिया सर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ओके ओके सो कैन यू टेल आवर व्यूअर्स व्हाट इज एनबीसीसी एंड एनबीसीसी के बारे में कम नॉलेज है लोगों को कुछ बताएं आप स्टूडेंट्स को उसके बारे में तो एनबीसीसी इज एनबीसी नेशनल बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन कॉर्पोरेशन सो मेनली ये कंस्ट्रक्शन कराती है कंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर आई थिंक फॉर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इट्स अ वेरी गुड कंपनी सो बिकॉज़ दे आर मेनली इन्वॉल्व इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द बिल्डिंग्स एंड ऑल द रिसेंटली दे हैव मेड दिस कन्वेंशन सेंटर एट प्रगति मैदान एंड इनोग्रेटेड बाय आवर पीएम श्री नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन 27 सो फॉर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इट्स अ गुड कंपनी दे आर मेनली फोकस ऑन द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट so they are uh, for the as a management trainee really my uh, the responsibility to responsibility is to uh, maintain the quality on the sites means mm -hmm. checking the aggregates its quality and uh, the designs and drawings which are uh, given by the authority is followed on the site or not uh, so mm -hmm. basically this is a fully involvement of this uh, construction field only so it's a great opportunity to learn for a civil engineer because uh, they provide a lots of opportunity for the civil engineer to uh, enhance their skills because it is basically a civil engineer core company mm -hmm. so their main focus is on uh, civil engineering only so i think it's a very good company for uh, a beginner civil engineer to get uh, learn and get uh, output from that uh, company so, so this is through uh, basically a this through gate only right yes sir gate gate yes mm -hmm. sir gate and i got selected mm -hmm. through gate 2021 so uh, every year uh, uh, seats are coming in nbcc yes sir uh, from the last 3 years every year seats are coming 19 also uh, 20 gate 2020 also came 2021 and recently now 2022 also come they give the short list for the gate 2022 also mm. and normally how many seats are there in uh, nbcc normally sir uh, 20 to 40 seats near about uh, okay. sometime is 20 seats 25 seats 30 seat and uh, it's like weightage is for gate is 70% and for interview it's 30% so in this mm -hmm. company the interview play a major role mm -hmm. in the selection so i think mm -hmm. uh, we should prepare seriously for that interview because it make a difference mm -hmm. because the weightage so, is 30% so we can score mm -hmm. yes sir So NBCC interviews uh, HR oriented or technical or combination of both. 
combination of both uh, i'll say that uh, hr is around 20 to 25% interview question are from hr but mainly 70 to 75% question is from technical background only means uh, the mm. subject which are related is specifically related to the construction like uh, this the building material is the most important uh, subject which uh, we should be prepared uh, for the interview in the npcc because they'll ask about all the materials test which has to be required to be done for the quality maintenance of the sand cement and all that so i think building material is must uh, a subject which is students should be prepared while going for the ncc interview second is like uh, rcc codal they ask about the codal provisions what are the codal provisions uh, regarding uh, the this construction and uh, third sometime uh, they will ask about uh, this uh, uh, so many uh, structure but uh, very little bit and they'll focus on the your uh, btech and M if you are doing mtech uh, then uh, mtech project also mm -hmm. okay amar now tell me uh, this uh, you have also done your mtech also from iit bombay book yes, specialization mein tha aapka the transportation engineering means uh, in that mm -hmm. i will learn about the construction of this pavement uh, highways mm -hmm. designing and all that mm -hmm. so normally no students uh, ask us that uh, should we go for mtech mm -hmm. uh, though we want to get into psu अगर हमें पीएसयू में ही जाना है तो क्या हमें एमटेक करनी चाहिए कि नहीं करनी चाहिए क्या आंसर है आपका इसके बारे में सर मैं अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इफ दे गॉट चांस टू डू एमटेक फ्रॉम द प्रेस्टीजियस इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक आईआईटीज फ्रॉम द टॉप आईआईटीज आई थिंक दे शुड गो फॉर द एमटेक इट्स लाइक इट एनहांस देयर नॉलेजेस एंड मेनी अदर थिंग व्हिच वी लर्न इन द आईआईटी लाइक दैट दैट सॉफ्ट स्किल्स एंड ऑल दैट means uh, i think uh, in iit the environment is different you will got uh, means uh, you will see a new world mm. so you will get uh, uh, opportunity to interact with the country's best mind and i think it will enhance your knowledge so i'll definitely uh, prefer uh, to go for the mtech mm. so aap kabhi mtech karke aaye hain iucl mein to kahin difference feel hota hai aapko long term career mein kahin aisa hoga ki mtech ka benefit hoga aapko long term mein yes a long term career may they have uh, like in promotion also i think and i feel they will there is a uh, one column for the like uh, some appraisal regarding the masters some one column is there uh, they will ask whether do you have a master degree or not, not i think in long term uh, we have a benefit mm -hmm. and okay. especially for if you are targeting for that civil i think if you are uh, mtech in uh, structure or construction technology and management and go in the nbcc like company i am uh, saying that nbcc because it is a specifically company for the, uh, this uh, civil engineering i think it's make a huge difference in your knowledge which uh, the, as compared to the people who are only btech and you are from the masters in structures and construction technology and management so i think uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, if you are doing a uh, uh, masters in structure and construction technology and management then you are means your knowledge level is far much better as compared to the this btech people in nbcc you can grow more and faster it you will uh, get the things uh, easily okay okay and now amar uh, i will ask uh, about uh, civil engineers in iucl little later but now i will ask yes, about sir. your interview in iucl so as you know uh, our platform is the largest online platform which mentor students for interview guidance and student listen to interaction like uh, they will be listening to your interaction with the hope that they will get some information about iucl interview so i'll request you yes. to provide detail input to the students who are listening to you related to your interview experience of iucl and we know it has a three stages usme gd hai group task yes. hai and interview hai to aap uh, detail mein thoda ha to aap uh, usko detail mein thoda discuss yes. kare कैसे किया था आपका ओके ओके सो फॉर द आईओसीएल फॉर द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू टेल द गेट वेटेज सो गेट वेटेज इज 85 परसेंटेज मींस 85 परसेंट दे विल कंसीडर द गेट मार्क्स एंड फॉर द 15 परसेंट दे हैव डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स 10 मार्क्स इज फॉर इंटरव्यू 5 मार्क्स इज फॉर जीटी ग्रुप टास्क एंड 5 मार्क्स फॉर ग्रुप डिस्कशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देयर इज अ नो सच सीक्वेंस कि पहले आपका जीटी हो जाएगा जीटी हो जाएगा इंटरव्यू हो जाएगा इट डिपेंड कि दे विल डिवाइड द people in the groups and accordingly one group is go for the interview one group is go for the gd and one group is go for the gt so in my case uh, i'll uh, my first before my interview my uh, i think uh, my interview is uh, in the evening around uh, 4 pm before mm. that my gt and gt is uh, gt and gd is finished mm. so my first is a uh, group task so in the group task uh, 
first of uh, they have given a you have a group of uh, four to five people uh, it may be very for some groups like uh, eight uh, or nine people also there so normally on an average we can say that six to seven people are there in the group and uh, first uh, they will give uh, for the group task so in group task they have given me a task ki uh, aapko ek petrol pump banana hai aapke area mein so what mm-hmm. are the factors civil you consider while mm-hmm. selecting that petrol pump mm-hmm. ओके okay. आप वहां पे क्या क्या चीजें मतलब कंसीडर करेंगे तो उसके लिए हमें सबसे पहले सोचने के लिए दे गिव अस टू मिनट्स एंड आफ्टर दैट दे विल आस्क लाइक व्हाट आर योर व्यूज सो वी हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड एंड हैव अ डिस्कशन फॉर आई थिंक फॉर फाइव मिनट एवरीवन मींस इन माय ग्रुप आई थिंक नो वन इज लाइक दैट की ओनली स्पीकिंग मींस पीपल लेट द स्पीक अदर पर्सन ऑल्सो so just uh, and i think that uh, if you uh, just put your points and uh, don't uh, means uh, argue with the peoples because mm-hmm. they are continuously watching uh, in uh, mm-hmm. some groups uh, in my like uh, my friends also given they said that uh, in their group uh, some uh, peoples are there they are always saying uh, means if uh, any person is saying any point they just cut that point and speak in between so in that case uh, one uh, that uh, observer uh, stop him he don't do like this so i think it will give a negative impact so don't uh, means if someone is saying some point don't uh, enter in between that point always mm-hmm. wait you will get a good chance and in the, if you are not getting the chance to speak then uh, that observer uh, which is there they, he will uh, in the last he will ask you okay, will you want to add some points or not so mm-hmm. then uh, also you can give your points mm-hmm. so just uh, give uh, valid points and uh, means uh, they'll give a uh, 2 minutes to think just uh, think about that uh, topic and uh, then we can uh, give our suggestions sir mm. then uh, it's uh, about the group discussion so in mm. group discussion my topic is okay uh, whether uh, this uh, you will prefer online education or offline education okay. will uh, government will start uh, online education for uh, this universities also like uh, in okay. the degree colleges and uh, that iits then and all that will they will uh, start online activities what you will think it will uh, hamper the rural uh, area people or it will beneficial for others mm-hmm. so some are against uh, this and some say in favor of this so i i'll be, i'll be in uh, favor of this topic because i think that this online uh, education is better the student will get uh, means uh, opportunity to learn uh, means uh, new with the use of this new technology and i think future is uh, online education only mm. so i'll speak uh, in the favor of that some people are uh, speaking against of that ki there is no internet facilities at some rural places and all that so it's mm. so overall means uh, will uh, everyone gives their views uh, and for the, i think uh, the discussion will be go for the 7 to 8 minutes sir Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so okay. after that uh, they will uh, send to conclude and uh, one person will be con- concluded that uh, all that so mm-hmm. in that uh, i think one uh, student is there he did not uh, got chance to speak so the observer asked him to conclude all the points okay mm-hmm. so, yes sir okay that was after a good that, discussion uh, mm-hmm. uh, gd and dp yes yes sir mm-hmm. good discussion and after that uh, interview i think my interview is at 4:30 or 4 pm uh, near about that so first of all when i got enter they will ask me to give their introduction in proper detailed introduction so i'll give mm-hmm. proper introduction and mm-hmm. after that uh, telling that my btech project they asked uh, first they asked about my btech project what i am doing and uh, mm-hmm. what make me to do that uh, project mm-hmm. so they just want uh, to why i am doing this only so mm-hmm. my uh, btech project is on uh, behavior of expensive soil treated with marble dust and i, I analyzed the behavior mm-hmm. without treatment and after the treatment so they asked some questions about that and some questions regarding to that the soil mechanics because this uh, topic is related to soil mechanics so they mm-hmm. just asked some question and uh, also they gave uh, some practical uh, uh, this uh, situation also ki suppose uh, if you have a uh, area where you want to do the pile foundation and uh, but uh, the soil is expensive soil what are the means uh, ex- construction practices which you will uh, means uh, adopt so i'll say that uh, sir we should we can go for that uh, 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 pile foundation that uh, this re- under rimmed piles mm. so they said yeah okay you can do that this is the solution so they they just uh, relate uh, try to relate that uh, proje- uh, project project uh, with uh, this practical ground also then mm. they will ask about my uh, this uh, uh, 
master's project, uh, which is uh, analyzing the characteristics of the cementitious base layer treated with uh, this uh, fly ash and uh, ground battered blast furnace slag. And using mm -hmm. that uh, cementitious base layer, I'll design the thickness of the pavement and mm -hmm. uh, compare the, uh, using this cementitious base layer and without treated base layer, what is the difference mm -hmm. in the thickness of the pavement? Like if mm -hmm. we use the cementitious base layer, the strength will be increased and we need, we can uh, give a lesser, uh, thicker layer of that uh, cementitious uh, this base layer and we can reduce mm -hmm. the cost by reducing the thickness, uh, overall thickness of the pavement. So mm -hmm. they just ask about, uh, they, because uh, it's related to the aggregates, so they, they just ask about uh, some test uh, which will perform uh, to the aggregate like impact test, uh, abrasion test. So how mm. do you do the, that uh, crushing test? They'll ask some mm. details about that, the water and how mm. you will test. Like mm. uh, I'll cast it the cube also because it's mm. related to the that cement is straight base layer. I need to come uh, uh, that uh, unconfined compressive strength. I need that for mm. that. I have casted the cube. So they just ask you how what are the processes which we have adopted while calculating this UCS and all. Means all the if uh, your project have some uh, like. Uh, uh, Practical uh, like this test, material, testing of the material, they will uh, focus on that uh, how you do that test and mm -hmm. what are the results which you got. Mm -hmm. so, like that. And uh, they, after that, uh, they will ask uh, me some uh, questions uh, like uh, some little bit of current affairs. I think uh, at that time, one incident I think happened. Uh, I am from Gorakhpur. So, uh, in Gorakhpur, one incident happened related to LPG cylinders. So they just asked me about this. Will you aware of uh, this and what are that incident? So I think if uh, uh, something mm. related to uh, this IUCL happen, mm. uh, like uh, LPG, uh, this Indian gas is a uh, product of IUCL only. So I think you should aware of that activity which is happening in the or, uh, related to IUCL. And mm. uh, like uh, what are some uh, some steps uh, or some uh, the, that uh, meetings held by the IACL, some important decisions will be taken by the IOCL. I think you should root, read about that uh, at least for one or two, past one or two weeks, what are the happenings in the IOCL. I think you should read. There is mm. one, uh, you, if you go on the IOCL site, they have uh, this news column. You can just uh, read that news column because sometimes they will ask uh, that, uh, will you aware of uh, our product? Is this, like uh, some, uh, if they launch some product, will you aware about our product or not? Mm. So they will ask like this question, sir. Mm -hmm. So mainly my interview is on a technical only, sir. Then they mm -hmm. ask me your you can uh, uh, tell your favorite subject. So I'll tell that uh, soil mechanics is I like soil mechanics and uh, so many structures. So they will ask some questions, technical questions related to soil and the uh, so on, sir. Mm. So your interview are more like a technical, huh? Yeah, my more uh, on the technical only. They uh, in the non-technical part they only just uh, asked me about that uh, incident uh, related to the ius that lpg and uh, that basic only like related to uh, this iocl only sir mm. and uh, what about uh, uh, this your uh, questions related to your personality like your strong point weak point hobbies interest all those questions oh uh, no sir i have in my introduction only i have uh, tell that my hobbies uh, and uh, the I, my weak point and strong point, but uh, they didn't focus on that part. They, after that, they, they actually started with my BTEC project only. So their main focus is on my BTEC and master's project, sir. But mm. if you are doing master's, uh, I've asked my uh, four to five friends. They said that mm. uh, uh, means if you are doing your master's or completed your master's, their main mm. focus is on your master's only. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think you should prepare your master's project very well because mm -hmm. they'll uh, focus on the master's project, sir. Mm, good. So, so uh, Amar, normally I have uh, taken uh, inter uh, have interaction uh, with many students. They were saying that HR thoda jada pucha jata hai UCL mein. But in your case, it was technical, uh, right? I don't know. Uh, in, my, in my case, I have given uh, two times uh, IOCL interview through GATE 2021 also and 2022 also. Both times, uh, I think uh, uh, HR is 20 to 25 percent only. Majorly is uh, technical only. So, for okay. me. So, but can you tell some? some subjects in civil engineering which are more important for interview of IUCL? Actually, uh, sir, uh, it depends. Uh, they'll, they'll not uh, uh, like uh, which subject you want to. They'll more focus on the subject which are related to your project. Okay. They'll uh, more focus on that subject. So basically, okay. it uh, which subject they will ask, it depends on what is your project. Mm -hmm. So project, if so somebody has done MTech, 
अगर yes, किसी ने एमटेक कर रखा तो एमटेक के प्रोजेक्ट या बीटेक का प्रोजेक्ट दे विल प्रीफर एमटेक प्रोजेक्ट सर ओके दे विल आस्क बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट आल्सो बट मोस्टली दे विल स्टार्ट विद दैट एमटेक प्रोजेक्ट आफ्टर दैट दे विल कम ऑन द बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट सर एंड द सब्जेक्ट रिलेटेड टू दैट एमटेक प्रोजेक्ट हम्म ओके अमर नाउ फॉर सिविल इंजीनियर्स हाउ गुड इज आईयूसीएल एज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन uh sir if you ask about like for the civil engineering learning purpose so i think uh, not up to that mark sir means for as a civil engineer but mm-hmm. whole as a organization it is good but uh, like for the you uh, suppose in this iocl there is uh, four sections this refinery section pipeline section marketing section and r and d section if you are in the, if you got refineries then you have a civil engineering work only but if you got a marketing Uh, no use of civil engineering okay no use of civil engineering only you have to manage uh, the things uh, like it's kind of management kind of post no use of civil engineering sir what about pipeline but, uh, got lucky uh, if you got lucky then you will got that engineering as a engineering officer positions i'll got lucky i got a engineering officer position only so mm-hmm. <laughs> i am a heading up project of uh, that one bitumen project so in that i think uh, civil engineering is there but uh, most of only at in the batch of uh, 70 people only i and one of my friend uh, got this uh, engineering uh, officer position so mm-hmm. i think uh, it depend on luck and means for the civil engineer i think uh, as a civil engineering growth not much growth is there in but if you want some management kind of jobs then it is a good company sir so you you got engineer uh, officer post in uh, refinery or what yeah. no sir in marketing So, uh, yes sir. Yes sir. So, uh, so uh, yes sir. 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 for civil engineer i think r and d is uh, not much of use because they are ma- mainly uh, in r and d they are dealing with the petroleum products i think that uh, people from the chemical engineering and i think they will not take uh, any civil engineer in the r and d division because uh, during the training we will based it uh, like in this departments also in the labs and also so i found that only the chemical engineers are there so i think they will not take a civil people in the r and d they will prefer chemical engineering people because this okay. product uh, uh, related research they are doing so i think they will take uh, uh, chemical engineering people only hmm. so amar aap abhi presently kahan posted hain the tuti korin tamil nadu tuti korin so kaisa lag raha hai gorakhpur se tuti korin acha lag raha hai sir abhi <laughs> okay to abhi guest house mein rehte ho campus kahan rehte ho aap bahar rehte ho ya iucl ka transit hai sir wahan pe rehne ke liye diya hua hai अच्छा तो ट्रांजिट तो थोड़े टाइम के लिए होता होगा नहीं नहीं सर इफ मींस पीपल आर लेस देन यू कैन स्टे अप व्हाट टाइम यू वांट लॉन्ग टाइम व्हाट अबाउट ट्रांसफर लाइक यू विल बी इंटरेस्टेड टू कम टू गोरखपुर और नॉर्थ नॉर्थ साइड सो क्या प्रोबेबिलिटी होता ट्रांसफर का सर अभी तो स्टार्टिंग 3 इयर्स तो अभी नहीं कोई चांस है बट आफ्टर 3 इयर्स मे बी यू विल गॉट ट्रांसफर इन द नॉर्थ रीजन और up the in the region which you want but not sure sir hmm like if you, you got uh, posted in the south because uh, hmm. uh, mainly people are from the north only hmm so the south people are less so it, uh, nowadays it will uh, if you got posted in uh, that south then i think hmm. uh, you will uh, have to serve there for at least 6 hmm. to 7 years because i have interacted to many of the seniors they are serving uh, in the, they are from the north only but they are serving in iocl for the last 6 to 7 years So I think mm-hmm. you will got transfer, but uh, not sure he will got transfer after the three years uh, in North. Mm-hmm. So these things are not there, sir. Okay. So Amar, uh, more or less we have taken all the informations. Uh, anything you want to tell the students who are going for interview this year? Uh, sir, for uh, IOCL, I'll uh, suggest that they just focus on their uh, this projects and just be aware of the latest things which is related to the IOCL. and okay. just uh, go with the conferencely the interview panel is very good they will uh, com- they will first comfort you then only ask the questions and if you are uh, feeling nervous then they will say also okay just be comfortable and uh, and uh, the most important uh, the hindi and english both language is valid for the interview 
तो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट लैंग्वेज बिकॉज मेनी पीपल थॉट की इफ आई गिव आंसर इन इंग्लिश देन इट विल गिव अ बेटर इम्प्रेशन so it's not like that if you are comfortable in hindi you can give your interview in the hindi also they will consider both hindi and english equally so i think uh, you should uh, just uh, find your own comfort zone in which language you are com- uh, comfortable because many times uh, people say uh, try to uh, speak in english but they are not properly uh, means convey convey their answers to the interviewer so in that uh, some language issue is there so i think uh, they will first uh, be comfortable in uh, means like uh, if they are comfortable in hindi they should give their interview in hindi only mm, okay so both hindi and in english they can go for right yes sir both hindi okay. and english okay okay amar i think um, uh, that brings us to an end of this wonderful session with you and uh, yes, let me thank you once again for your time and i'm very sure thank you, you will do wonderful in iocl एंड मेनी स्टूडेंट्स जो आपसे आपको जो सुनेंगे उनको आपने दो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का एनबीसीसी एंड आईयूसीएल दोनों के बारे में बताया है एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर उनको इससे बेनिफिट होगा एंड दे विल बी वेल प्रिपेयर्ड बिफोर दे गो फॉर इंटरव्यू सो थैंक्स अलॉट वंस अगेन अमर एंड ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर योर करियर अहेड थैंक यू सर